Hi guys, it's Jen from Delicious Threads. I have a quick tip for you guys today. I saw somebody on Stitch Mania comment in a post about wanting to put something between her Lowry clamp and her quantum frame to help protect the wood. And it reminded me that I have actually done a modification on my clamp to help stabilize larger frames or heavier frames and to help protect my frame from just being in the clamp itself. So what I did was I used some strips of moleskin and moleskin is pretty inexpensive. It's something that you would use like inside of a cast to help keep you from like getting all gross um, or in your shoes to prevent blisters. And it's soft material and then it's adhesive on the back. So mine came on this roll like this. You can get smaller chunks um, like squares, they come in lots of different shapes and sizes for different purposes. But this one is a two inch roll, so it's two inches wide. And I bought it on Amazon. I use very little. I basically just used a strip that was long enough to come to the edges or to the end of the clamp itself. And I have all of this left over. You could get smaller rolls. You can get thinner rolls. You can get rectangles, squares, like all kinds of shapes. You can get these at pharmacies. You can get them at the grocery store. So you don't have to buy on Amazon like I did. I figure I have some extra now for other purposes. What I did was I just cut uh, a strip long enough to match my clamp. And then I ended up cutting it down the center because this is skinnier than the two inches. And the way I cut it, it happened to work out that one side was a little bit bigger than the other and they were the perfect width to fit inside the clamp. You could have this be wider and have it come around the outside of the clamp on this side to make sure you're protecting all along that edge, but this seems to have worked okay for me. It is adhesive, so you take off the paper backing and you can just lay it in there. Which also means like when you remove it, you probably will have some sticky residue, but there are products you can use to get rid of that stickiness. So I figured that even if I didn't like this, I'd be able to get my clamp back to its original condition. So far, I really like it. Um, it does protect my frames from being in the clamp. I haven't seen any marks on my wood quantum frame. And then another bonus is that it helps stabilize some of my heavier frames. So I have, it's not a huge quantum frame, but it's on the bigger side and it does get kind of heavy. And I noticed that in the clamp by itself, or even with the clamp with a piece of felt, which is what I was using before, I would just put it around um, my frame's edge and then I would put that inside the clamp like that. Um, with both of those, they would, my frames, if they got heavy, they would try to rotate down. And switching to this, just the moleskin, that has prevented a lot of the slipping. It gives enough friction, I guess, to hold the frame in place. So just a quick tip, maybe you want to try it. If you do try it, let me know if you like it. Okay. I'll put a link down below to the moleskin roll that I got. Again, you can get this lots of places. You don't have to get it on Amazon. You don't have to get this much. Um, I think this roll was about $9. Um, and again, you don't have to spend this much. You can find it other places. So hopefully you like the quick tip. Hopefully it helps somebody out. Happy stitching, guys. Bye.